Okay, I'm on with another video. It's been uh, um, I guess quite some time, not a whole lot of time, but it's been some time that I haven't been on here. I promised myself I would, um, you know, come on here and like what every other day at, at the most part. Um, but I'm on here now, so um, I mean, I just wanted to come in because I know I have not done a video in a little bit. Uh, number two, um, I know I should be going here anyway, period, because of God himself, uh, because of the way the world is going, and to let everyone know that a short time in Yahshua Jesus is right around the corner, so I know I have to be a spokes person just for that purpose but I wanted to come on as well and um, say the, the video that I did before this one uh, took something <laughs> to do that video all the baldness here with my hair pulled back and you know it was speaking about how um, you know being shamed for you know how you look at all so yeah that took something every time I look at that video I went to tear it and take it down but I said no I said could help someone that someone out there could be uh, suicidal depressed um, you know angry whatever the case may be you know um, so I just, I left it up there. <clears throat> but, um, knowing that I said something as well about my, um, you know, my journey to weight and all that, um, I just wanted to come on, um, for that purpose as well. Um, uh, to let you all know, I trust in God regardless of what's going on and um, how I try to look for a solution to my weight issue. I know that God is in control. I didn't get to say this in the other video because, I mean, I just never really took that deep thought of that, um, you know, serious enough to, you know, reiterate that um you know those terms period but and bear with me because i mean i'm still in thought um i come on just you know not out of the blue but out of the blue but it's like i'm being pressed to do that of course and i'm you know i already know it's my heavenly father that's pressing me to do this so I'm not really new to the game. I may not have many views and whatnot, and I've 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 uh, I've vlogged and I've um, done videos in the past. Excuse me. So this is really nothing new. It's just that I've turned another a new leaf now. I turn more to God's truth now than the Christianity way. And people look at me and think things are strange with me because they're like, well, you know, if you're not doing anything Christianity, uh, then who are you? I am a child of God, but I'm a true child of God. I can truly say that. I'm not a boaster, but I mean, I can boast in my Heavenly Father. And, um, you know, when I say I'm a true child of God, that's what I am. I'm a true child child of God, true follower of Christ, because the way we were taught uh, through the Christianity way, it a lot of things wasn't right at all. Uh, now I know who the true Heavenly Father name is, you know, Yah Haveh, Testavant Elohim, uh, Jesus' his real name, Yahshua, Hamashiach, and I mean, he has other 
you know, the names are Healer and, you know, all of the above. El Shaddai, you know, so on and so forth. But, um, I um, didn't really mean to say, I guess, all of that. But I, my, my viewpoint is really, basically, that God is in control of my life. And I do trust God to be my healer, um, you know, of my whole self, whether it's inside and out. And he's still doing that, no matter what anybody's saying, no matter what um, people look at me as. I am who I am, who God says I am, that he created, which is a good thing. Um... And uh, being wonderfully, beautifully, and wonderfully made, as I uh, stated on the other video. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that because I wanted to say that before on the other video about God being my healer and I trust Him. Um, there's no need to even serve Him if I don't trust Him. Um, you know, I've, I've prayed and consult him about my weight. And, I mean, I have um, a couple of things that I have dealt with in time with myself and my body. And I know it is a healing process. And so, um, yeah. But the products that I told you all that I tried... Um, was a fail because of me being allergic to whatever was in it um as well as really the brussels sprouts now i can i mean the broccoli sprouts i can eat broccoli but um the broccoli sprout peel that i i um i hauled on the video before um it caused me to bloat now i've heard people say broccoli does that to them period so that did, and it kind of upset my my stomach a little bit. So, you know, I actually stopped taking it. I'm so tired of just wasting money. But, I mean, some of the things I have, I'm not going to allow it to waste. I do have other things that I'm thinking about using them for. So, you know, I will do that as well. Excuse me. So, yeah, um... Also, I want to bring to attention because um, the Lord kept pressing on me about this unforgiveness thing. And I don't know why. Um, I mean, I'll always ask him, and I ask him still, and I've asked him, you know, have I not forgiven someone that this is coming around again? I watched somebody's video, and I just subscribed to her uh, recently. And you can tell she's such a true soldier for Christ. Um, and she was talking about unforgiveness. And then I saw it again somewhere else. And then it's somewhere else. And it's like three times. And I'm like, well, God, you must want me to say something about um, not forgiving, being unforgiving. And, um, of course, I couldn't find a scripture or anything like that on it. Unforgiveness. But, I mean, I'm just... I'm just talking about unforgiveness because it evidently it must be something that God, and I won't say evidently, it is something that God really uh, wants to um, put emphasis on. Um, if you don't have a an, uh, forgiving heart, he will not uh, forgive you, of course. He said something about the trespasses, forgiving others, the trespasses, as you forgive uh those who trespass against you. So, um, it's prominent that we forgive. Um, it's not good to hold grudges. Now, I was there at one time and I would hold a grudge against a person and I would not care. But that's the wrong spirit to, um, have. Um, of course, you know God's character and his, his fruit, the fruits of the spirit. You know, being gentle and gentle and kind and goodness and patience you know all that kind of thing comes with forgiving an individual so you know 
at this time and moment in our lives, we can't afford to uh, not forgive someone. Uh, forgiving is not for that next person, but forgiving is for you, us as individuals, the, the forgiver. Because it frees us within, um, it allows us to, to be free and whole and to be able to love freely, you know, all over again. So, um, I was thinking on some things, like I said, even about myself and I was like, well, you know, I had gone over this before, um, with myself about unforgiving and I said, um, it came to me, and I know it was the Holy Spirit that, that brought it to my attention, it came to me that, um, I can't be forgiving, forgiven if I'm allowing that thought to come back and I won't say that I, um, what's the word? I, I'm not offensive. I, I mean, I could have been that way before. I don't think I was offensive, but it's just like, you know, I'm not understanding, you know, certain things. How can some people do certain things? certain ways or whatever but I'm still somewhat holding on to that and in my lifetime I've been learning learning I've been learning how to let go of certain situations I'm such a clown sometimes so it's closet I say hunty or whatever but um yeah certain situations and it's just like you know I look at the uh, other person's point of view is just like how and why excuse me but I do know if we want to be like Christ and we said that we're followers of Christ we have to do the Christ like things that he would want us to do and that's to you know lay aside every weight that is so easy to be set us so we can run this race with patience with God <laughs> period and it just came out of nowhere. So I know that was the Holy Spirit. So um, be free. Learn how to let go. Learn how to ask God to help you let go. And, um, you know, not think on the things that were before. Because it's still, um, in some sense, like you're still holding on to it. And you're not allowing God to handle it. And, um, it's like a non-forgiving thing. So, or an unforgiving thing. So, I guess with that being said, that would be all, I guess, for this video. Hopefully I'm looking right because I'm trying to get used to this, uh, camera still. And I, like last time I said in my video about my, um, tripod. I had a tripod. I guess I've, I've been out of the game for so long I forgot I had a new tripod. So, you all are standing on my tripod that I've had. So, um, sometimes we can get lost sometimes, though, in everyday things, the world, life, you know what I mean? And it's just like, we tend to allow things to grip us and get to us when we shouldn't because, you know, God is our way out. He's our whole source. God, Yeshua, Jesus. And the Holy Spirit, they they are our way out, and we really have no excuse of holding anything, um, whether it's a grudge or whatever it may be, because he's or well, they're there, and they're for us to take away everything that you know we are harboring within ourselves. Now God already took. Uh, allow his son to take away us to die on the cross the treaty rather to take away all of our sins and whatnot so that we may be free and have abundant life and live forever so um, all I can say is learn how to forgive and love because life is short and um, get closer to God because God is a good God. He's a merciful God. He's a gracious God. 
He's a loving God. He's a God of wrath, but he's a loving God. He's a God of second chances. He is our source for everything. So I get to know him. Um, he's against wickedness and sin. Of course, sin is part of wickedness. But, uh, yeah. Get right with God. I suggest you do it now. And that's it. Simple as that. He loves us. He's coming back soon. We want, we don't want to be lost. We don't want our souls to be lost. We don't want the enemy to allow the enemy to have our souls. Because once he do, it's, it's over and done. You know, we have no part taken in God anymore. We have no life everlasting anymore. We're going to live to live again. But um, in hell you won't. And hell is real as well as heaven is real. There's so many stories out here on the YouTube about hell and the encounters of how uh, God took people to hell and heaven just for an inventory and a tour of what it would be like or even feel like to lift your eyes up there. Um, I don't think nobody would want to you know, go that direction. So, let God be your source and your choice for today so that you can make it in this journey and in this world. That's it. God bless you all, faith walkers. And good day.